Hey there, what's up? I'm working on a new painting and I wanted to show you guys. Um, with this particular piece, I, I got inspired to do it because I envisioned it on the back of a t-shirt. So if you guys haven't checked out my merch website, please check the link in the description. I have not only my logo on my clothes, but I also have some of my artwork. Right now I have um, a few pieces that I've done. This piece in particular I'm very excited about because I have a much clearer picture in my mind about what it's going to look like. I'm just going to show you really quick. So I have one of my shirts on right now. Um, I know it's a little bit dark, but you can see it's on the back and it looks like that. So I wanted to make the piece I'm working on right now a piece that would look really good on the back of a shirt because that's, um, that's kind of what I'm going for with my style. That's just a quick little sneak peek at what's going on so far, but I hope to have it done really soon. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> It's Sunday. Yeah, it's been a really great day. I got a lot done. Um, I had a lot of fun, and I've been like really taking care of myself. It's been a really good self-care day, um, and a very creative day as well. All right, that's it for now. Peace. I actually put it in a frame as well. personally made this piece in mind to put on a shirt and I did envision it on the back of a shirt so you know wherever you're going you've got a dragon behind you which is pretty cool and a sexy lady. If you guys have any like recommendations for better printing sites and by that I mean ones where you can customize like your items a lot more definitely leave it in the comments. I would love to hear because the current place that I'm using right now for my products, you can only put one printed design on the item and I have some really, really good ideas. I would love to make this stuff as unique as possible so, you know, you go around wearing something different. As you saw in the couple clips before, I went out to the beach and I set up all my art stuff. I actually brought a bunch of my paintings, a few of my favorites. So this painting that you're going to be seeing is acrylic paint. I think I left my white acrylic paint in my car or something and I didn't want to walk all the way back so I didn't have any white to mix my paints with. <laughs> so this is like a really colorful, like mainly single tone painting. And this was mainly just to do for fun so I could do something out in public and have people watch me do something. But also an opportunity for my pieces to just kind of be out and open and be shared with everybody. This is how it turned out.
think I want to do a more improved version of this in the future, where there's more tones, good contrast between dark and light, also a little bit more detail. You know me, I love detail. <laughs> satisfied with how it turned out so I've been trying to be kinder with myself another thing that I made sure to do while working on this painting was I made sure to give myself positive reinforcement and I also switched off my, my hands so I actually did a lot of this painting with my left hand not quite 50 50 but um, I definitely did a lot of the tree with my left hand I also did a lot of the red and the blue Anything that was like bigger strokes and didn't require as much precision, I allowed my left hand to do. And I told myself mentally that however it turned out was exactly perfect and there's no wrong way to do it. And I think that's really important to understand when you make art is that it is absolutely perfect and beautiful the way it is. There's no wrong way. You're creating something from your heart and you're creating something from your mind. And it's sort of a collaborative project with yourself. And so. It's really important to give yourself positive reinforcement and say, no, like, you're doing a really good job. I still do really love going in with, like, a nice fine detail and making clean lines and making things really seamless. I've learned to love and appreciate the imperfections and imbalances within each piece that I make now, so I've noticed my enjoyment of art has been rising, as well as um, the amount of art that I'm doing has increased as well because I'm more excited to do it. So it's just sort of a, a nice circle that keeps on giving and giving. Yeah, subscribe, please comment. I wanna hear about you. I wanna hear about if you do art. I wanna hear about if you don't like art. Whatever, just like comment as long as you keep it peaceful. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, namaste. Last I checked in, oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So I completed my most recent picture. And I just wanted to show you guys the final result. Damn it!